Now we're going to run our process and take a look at our trading partner data. Once our process successfully runs in the Build tab, let's spend a few moments interpreting the data. Notice that we have six files for our output. The first file is a placeholder, signifying the raw document is retrieved. If you deploy and execute the process in production, then this raw document is viewable in the Process Reporting tab. The second file is the acknowledgement. If you don't have an acknowledgement, this becomes the first transaction. Next are each of the individual transactions. Even though our single document had multiple transactions, Atomsphere automatically splits them. We didn't have to create a process shape. The connection data status is not displayed in the Build tab, but it is displayed in the production mode. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to walk through exercise number 13 I'm going to test the trading partner process and interpret the data. This begins in your book on page 45 and it goes to page 46. On our build tab, we're going to click on the test button in the upper right hand corner. We're going to select our add-on, which is the test add-on cloud, and give it a run. Our process is completed running. I'm just going to bring this up so we can examine our data. Our first file has nothing in it, and it didn't leave the trading partner shape. Basically, this acts as a placeholder for the raw EDI data file. Now, when we have a deployed process and we look at it in the process reporting view, this will have the raw data document. Um, it'll show the full file before we split it into each individual transaction. Since we have an acknowledgement, we go down the acknowledgement path. We produce an acknowledgement file. If we did not have an acknowledgement, this would contain the first record. You come down to number three, and it works all the way from three to six. We'll be coming down the branches and we're inserting into the database as we did before. So nothing different going on here except that it's each individual record. Now it's your turn to do exercise number 13 to test the trading partner process and interpret the data. This begins in your book on page 45 and 46. When we return, we will be going into the manage section of our class and we will be implementing document tracking and taking a look at document tracking in the process reporting page.